Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another War Robots video. So it looks like update 5.7 has been released. All right, I know it's out on Android right now. I'm currently downloading it. These are going to be the notes here. I'm on the Walking War Robots page for Reddit. So if you're not on there, you guys should join this because there is a lot of good information being posted on this Reddit page. So we're going to see the Lunar New Year event. And there's a lot of stuff going on. We got the... The lottery here, complete daily task to get tokens and open stuff to win prizes, just like always. It says new special edition Arachnid Invader skin and Lunar Dragon, or a Lunar Dragoon, so it's going to be a weapon skin. New legendary pilot for Al June, which is, I don't know why we need another one, but some sort of other pilot for Al June. I'm not exactly sure what that one's going to do. New paint jobs for Bohemoth, Raven, I guess just those two. Three unique event skirmishes and one arena. So there's going to be one weekend we're going to see a skirmish, a skirmish, arena, and then another skirmish. So I guess this is going to last about four weeks. All right, the new robot Ravana's out. If you guys watch some of my test server videos, you've already seen what those robots are like. The Nightingale's coming out, and the Cerberus is coming out. So, in order to get those, usually they don't release those in the workshop or anything for a while. Sometimes you might be able to buy one or two of them with gold. I know the, I know the uh, Cerberus, he's actually going to be in the next, the next, uh, oh, what do you call that thing? Hold on a second. It's called Operation. I actually had to open the game to remind myself because my brain seems to be broken at the moment. But all you got to do is hit level 80 in the Operations and you're going to get that robot for free. You don't even have to pay for the Operations. It's going to be in the free section, okay? So, just hit level 80 in Operations. You don't have to pay the 15 bucks. You're going to get that robot for free. All right? Now, Nightingale, I'm going to guess that guy is going to be available for gold, but this is just a guess. I can probably look and see, but sometimes they don't even have these things out on the first day, so I'm not really sure how we're going to get the Nightingale. And the, Cer the Ravenna, I'm pretty sure that guy is going to be, you're either going to buy him with real money or you're going to have to win him. He probably won't be in the workshop for a really long time. The new Titan modules, if you guys watched my... If you guys watched my video this weekend for the test server, you guys saw the anti-control and the repair unit for the Titans. Those are coming out in this update. They're rebalancing the Halo, Corona, and Glory. Those are now going to have a, a little bar you have to fill up, sort of like the cryo weapons that freeze you. You have to be hit with so many shots before you get locked down now. And I think that's really, really cool. You won't be locked down as easily. Especially if you have like an anti-controller or something. It's going to be a lot harder for people to lock you down. I think that's great. Unfortunately, it looks like it's only the shotguns and not the other wep lockdown weapons getting that. But that may come. I'm not sure. It says there's a buff for Sting and Wasp. So those weapons are now going to be more powerful. It says they're going to be good for like busting down the leech. So that's pretty cool. So if you had some like Vipers, Stings, or Wasps. That should be a good leech repellent. Like if you were to have something like a Hades with a Viper and two Stings, that might beat up a leech pretty bad. So that's pretty much going to be the nerf for the leech, I believe. So they can try. So you know, usually, usually when the newer robots come out, they do something to try and like nerf the other robots, so you'll change over to the new ones. So my guess that's that's what they're trying to do with that. By buffing those weapons um, there's gonna be a phase shift nerf instead of five seconds it's only gonna last for three seconds and it's gonna have a 35 second cooldown instead of a 40 so that's gonna be a really really cool thing you know that that gives I, I wish they would remove phase shift completely I really don't like phase shift but it'll be nice the, the robots will have less time to escape with the phase shift so you probably won't see as many people running phase shift, but that's just a guess. And it says there's a bunch of tweaks and fixes. fixes. All right, skirmishes are back. Multiple, multiple Titan-related bugs are being fixed. 
Cryo reload animation now works properly. Multiple robots shouldn't pile up in the same hangar slot anymore. I've never seen that one happen. Titan upgrade animation is much faster now. We have also removed multiple performance dropping issues and the game should run significantly smoother on certain devices. So hopefully the lag will be gone. Hopefully some of the crashing and stuff like that will be gone. But this is currently available on Android, at least for me. I know sometimes when you go to the Google Play Store, not everybody can download a new update all at the same time. I kind of think that happens to help so the servers don't crash with too many people uploading it. But go check. You might be able to get that real quick. I'm not sure if it's out on iOS. I kind of heard that it was, but I'm not 100% sure. If not, it should be out for you guys here in a couple days. So anyways, that's pretty much what's new on the new update. All right, 5.7.0. Go check it out. Catch you guys later.